person randomly selected 100 checks and recorded the sentence portion of the check. See that data here in the table? Um, and we're asked to use a 0 0.025 significance level to test the claim that the four categories are equally likely. Now, if they're going to be equally likely, we should have 25 in each category. It appears we have quite a few more here in this first category. Um, <clears throat> and so it says the person expected that many checks for whole dollar amounts would result in a disproportionately high frequency for the first category. Um, and so do the results support that uh, conclusion? So. We want to find our test statistic, um, the critical value, and the p-values. Um, so when I click open in StatCrunch, then what we see here now are the, the four categories, the number in each category. And if we wanted them all to be the same proportion, which would mean 25% in each category or 25 out of the 100, then we can put those values that we would expect to get here in this column. Now, in order to conduct the test, we'll hit Stat. <clears throat> and we do goodness of fit and chi-square test. What we observed were the number that we saw and what we expected was that they were all equal or they were all 25. Now we hit calculate. This gives me my chi-square value and my p-value. Um, and then what we can do with that is we can compare the chi-square value to the critical value or we can just use the p-value to make a decision. Um, so if I go back to this, then the test statistic we saw was 4.88, and we check our answer, um, which is good. The critical value, now you're going to have to go to your table uh, to do this. Uh, we can use the table from the textbook, or we can use uh, the online uh, formula table. And if we look at our table, um, then for a value of 0.0, 2.5 significance level with three degrees of freedom, we see that our critical value is 9.348. Now we have three degrees of freedom because we have four categories, and there's always one uh, degree of freedom less than the number of categories, so we check our answer, and again, excellent. Um, the p-value we got from our table, which is 0 0.1808, or from StatCrunch, I should say 0 0.1808, <clears throat> and we check our answer. And we have that. Now we want to state the conclusion, um, and if the p-value is less than 0.025, we'll reject the null hypothesis. Uh, so in this case, we do not reject the null hypothesis. <clears throat> and so it says, you know, is there sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the four categories are equally likely? And because we don't reject the null hypothesis, and the null hypothesis said they were equally likely, there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the four categories are equally likely. <clears throat> and so does it seem that the, uh, do the results support the expectation that the frequency for the first category is disproportionately high? Well, we, we cannot show that they're not the same, so the results do not appear to support that expectation. Um, and so we have our answer there.